Okay, um, in this video we'll look at some examples that apply the remainder theorem and uh, the factor theorem. So, um, if you are watching this video and you haven't watched our part one of this, we strongly recommend that you do watch that one first. I'm just going to post a link of it uh, uh, here. Uh, before we continue right so in the first question we're given that uh, x plus 3 is a factor of this polynomial here it is a polynomial third degree um, a and b are undetermined coefficients we're also given that a remainder of minus 8 is left when this polynomial is divided by x minus 1 then the question is find the values of the constants a and b okay there's a question too but uh, we'll come back to it so just uh, briefly the remainder theorem says that if p of x where p of x is a polynomial is divided by x minus r the remainder is given by p of r so that there is a uh, a brief version of the remainder theorem then the factor theorem says if x minus r is a factor of the polynomial p of x, then p of r is going to be 0 and vice versa. Uh, moreover, if x minus r is a factor, then x equals to r is a root. All right, so in the first uh, question, given that <clears throat> x plus 3 is a factor, <clears throat> so that means p of r is going to be 0. Um, so, this is what is going to happen. Um, so, in question 1, P of R, well, R is going to be, so we've got X plus 3, equate this to 0, then X is negative 3. So, this is P of negative 3, because that thing is a factor, P of negative 3 must be 0. Okay, so um, if we substitute this into this polynomial here, this one here, so we're going to have uh, negative 3 cubed, then plus 8 times negative 3 squared, b times negative 3, minus 6 is equal to 0. Negative 3 cubed is uh, negative 27. This is going to be 9a minus 3b minus 6. 27 and 6 gives us uh, 33. So it's going to be equal to 33. Everything is a multiple of 3. So if we divide by 3, uh, this is going to be our equation 1. Okay, then going to the other condition, the con other condition says a remainder minus 8 is left when the polynomial is divided by x minus 1. Take this thing and equate it to 0. We are going to find that x is equal to 1. So that is going to be our r. Okay remainder is minus 8 so we're going to do the same thing but uh, instead of 0 this side we're going to have minus 8 so p of 1 so that's going to be 1 cubed plus 8 times 1 squared b times 1 minus 6 this is going to be equal to minus 8 it's going to be 1 plus a plus b minus 6 is equal to minus 8 um so a plus b here is going to be equal to take the six to the other side you get negative two and then you bring the minus one so it's going to be negative three so it's going to be our equation two if i just bring this equation down here then it's going to be easier to see what we are working with 
So we've got two equations, two unknowns, which we can solve simultaneously. If we add here, we're going to get 4a is equal to 8. So a is equal to 2. Then if we plug into, say, this equation here, we're going to find that b is negative 5. All right, so that sorts out that first question. So that's uh, using the remainder theorem and the factor theorem as uh, highlighted here. We're now going to give you a, an opportunity to go have a go at uh, this second question. And the second question, well, given that x minus 2 and x plus 3 are both factors of this polynomial here, find a and b so if you'd like to just pause the video have a go at this and then when you continue the video you can compare with our answer all right uh, we're now going to scroll down to our solution for uh, number two by the way thank you for um, coming to our channel and watching these videos we hope they are helpful to you uh, do not forget to subscribe and like the video um, if you and share it accordingly if you've got any questions you can post them in the comments section so first thing that's going to happen in uh, number two is given that x minus two is a factor so if x minus two is a factor then uh, actually x equals to two is a root which means p of 2 is going to be 0. So that's going to be 2 cubed plus 8 times 2 squared plus b times 2 minus 12. So this must be 0. So this is going to be 8 plus 4a plus 2b minus 12 is equal to 0. So that's going to be 4a plus 2b is equal to 4 because that's what 8 minus 12 is which is negative 4 and then if you take it to the right hand side it's going to be 4 if we divide everything now by 2 because 2 is common then that gives us the first equation then again we are told that x plus 3 is also a factor which means negative 3 going to be a root so p of negative 3 is going to be 0 so a times negative 3 squared b times negative 3 minus 12 so this one is 0 so we are going to have a negative 27 Plus 9a minus 3b minus 12 equals to k. Okay. So 9a minus 3b is actually going to be 39. Dividing through by 3, you've got 3a minus b is equals to 13. So that's equation number two. If I bring equation number one in this vicinity, I've got two a plus b is equal to two. So that's equation one. If we add these two, I've got five a is equal to fifteen. So a is equal to three. And then if we substitute back, we're going to find that b is equal to negative 4. Alright, thank you.